Next, we take a big step. Up to now, we've established ourselves as something to be avoided by driving or chasing the horse away from us. Now, we're going to try to get the horse to look at us in a completely different way. We're going to set ourselves up as a place where the horse wants to be. Watch the change in the horse in this next section. We've already established a pattern of control, respect, and leadership in her. Now, we will become the comfort zone. We do this by getting the horse's attention and by easing the pressure when the horse chooses to stay with us. By allowing the horse to deal with her fears one at a time while she's with us and driving her out of the herd if she chooses to leave. This way, the horse learns it's more comfortable to stay than to go. This is the way we form our connection. I want to uh, build a connection between this horse and, and myself. And uh, how I do this is all along I've been establishing leadership and leadership gives me respect and with respect I can start building on the horse's attention and that's what I need right now I need this horse's attention focused on me now his inside ears on me so I just want to uh, get his mind a little bit more connected with me so I'm just gonna ask the horse to stop good so now I want to approach the horse in a way that the horse won't leave me. I do not want to sneak up and pretend I'm walking on eggshells. That'll make the horse move. What I'm going to be looking for here is, is the horse relaxed enough for me to approach? Are his front feet in park? Is his mind in park? By the front feet in park, I mean, is he ready to take a step? If he's ready to take a step, uh, my chances of approaching the horse uh, and having him stay are reduced. So I'm just looking to see if the horse is calm enough for me to approach. Rather than walking in on a straight line like a predator, I'll just kind of drift in a little bit here like this. Now if the horse goes to leave me, I'll quit. I'll just back off. There we go. So we can just touch the horse. That's all I want to do is just touch the horse. Now I can either try to touch him on the forehead there or just on the shoulder here and withdraw. Take the pressure off. Just take it right off. That horse just bowed. That's a sign of, of accepting me, uh, submission. He's accepting me. He's starting the mouth right now. That's a, a sign of accepting. Uh, he's accepting me. I'm his leader. I'm becoming a stronger leader. All I need to do is just come up and touch the horse. All right? And withdraw. Okay? Now, he just looked out, you see, uh, and the, I lost his attention. So I told you that right now I want to start building on his attention. So uh, he just looked again. How do I get his attention? I can slap my leg. I can make a kissing sound. Do something. I want the horse now to start building a connection on me. The horse wants to leave here. I'm going to make it my idea. Ask the horse to stop. All I want to do is approach the horse. Good. Now that horse just turned in to look me up. That's a very good sign. That's a really good sign. Now if he would have turned his hindquarters to me, that would have been very disrespectful. And I would have chased the horse off. I would have drove the horse off. Okay. Good. And you see what's happening here? I'm taking the first steps of establishing myself as a comfort zone. And now I'm going to start moving around a little bit. And where's my focus? Where am I looking? I've been driving the hindquarters all the way through here. Now I'm still, that's where my focus is. My focus is on the hindquarters. By focusing on the hindquarters, I can bring the head to me. Watch, you see, there's my focus on the hindquarters. And I'll, I'll add my vocal cue. I've been doing it right from the beginning. And the kiss for movement to come with me. If that horse wants to leave me, I'll make it my idea. Now I want her to try to be with me, okay? And I'm just building on this. 
is going to keep building on this. I'm working the left eye. Kiss him to the horse to come with me. Now, when I kiss, I want some kind of movement. I'll just give her a chance. Now, if she leaves me this time, I'll push her out. I'll drive her out. There's a try. You see how the head came in? I'll walk over and I'll pet her. I'll let her know, yes, that's what I want. Bring your mind here. You see, if I can get her mind here, I can get her body to come with me. Good. Okay. See the decisions the horse is making? Should I go or should I stay? Can you see it? She's deciding to stay with me. There's no rope holding her to me. This is her decision. If they understand what you want, they'll try for you. A lot of times they don't understand and maybe you gotta just kinda shuffle yourself around a little bit and get yourself in a position where they understand what you want. Okay, now, see? Thinking it over, he's gonna leave, decided to stay. So I started really tiny, where she might have just gave me her head in the beginning. My focus is on that hind quarter, I'm driving the hind quarter away. Now if that horse leaves, you see, let's go. You get to work out here. We can establish yourself as a dominant horse. Okay, ask her to stop. Just walk right in there. Left eye. Good. I'm not gonna leave this time. She's starting to mouth a bit here. She's accepting. Good. Good. Set it up again, working that left eye. Give her a chance. So now that I've got the horse's attention, 